Hey there, welcome back to our playthrough of Scrap, wherein we get to uh, find out if it uh, if it loads our game properly. Let's uh, I'm in the wrong goddamn window. Here we go. Let me just move this up and press question mark to find out how to load. Shift R to restore a game. Okay, let me just get out of this. More. Shift R. Restore previous game? Yes. Okay, look at that. It worked. Here we are with our BioCore. BioCore. I'm not quite sure how the um, the BioCore or power cells are surviving. As I understand it, the, the robot dies when its power cell or power source is destroyed. I'm not entirely sure how we're coming into access of these uh, these BioCores, etc. Like, it shouldn't, shouldn't have had been destroyed before we get access. I'm just suddenly confused. I know how we get the other systems. If you knock out the BioCore, whatever's left, you can salvage. But, anyways, uh, look at this. Okay. Just getting my. Familiarity back up to snuff. Okay, let's get going. Down a level. Let me just organize my seating arrangements as well so that I'm not, um... Let's just, uh, kill the jetpack here. Okay, let's get down. We, oh, apparently as soon as we move, we're using it. Why? It's flat terrain. Not sure what that was about. Maybe there was, uh, maybe, maybe staircases take effort? I don't know. What level are we on here? We're on level 7. Again, not sure how far we're going to go. I'm going to guess now, having uh, seen some tougher foes, but realizing we're not at the base, I'm going to guess level 10 is the deepest. That's just my hunch. We'll find out. What is that? I almost pressed L for R. We don't want for look. We don't want that. We want 6 for scanner. It is an armadillo. It has a sonic gun. Power cells. Nothing. Armadillo plate. I'm guessing it's got some serious uh, armor. Let's try hitting it with a bazooka. We hit its burrowing claw. Let's hit it with the same bazooka. We did, and we overloaded our bazooka. Let's hit it with this bazooka. It's slow, this thing, this enemy. <clears throat> Let's hit it with a flamethrower. It might be hitting us now. I guess at this at this range it can hit us as well, it looks like. I can probably back off by one. But not yet. Let's fire again with our bazooka. Knocked off its burrowing thing, so it can't, uh, it can't keep hitting us as far as I can see. Let's prioritize repair of the second bazooka. And let's fire at it with our flamethrower. I don't want to chase it too diligently. I don't want to, you know, find myself... Uh, Oh, it's out of range. I don't want to find myself face to face with other foes while we're trying to deal with this thing. Knocked off its power cell. Five. Oh, it was hitting with a sonic gun. I was like, why is how's it hitting with this burrowing claw? But I get it, of course. Okay, we got it. Let's see what we can salvage here. Um I wonder what an armadillo visor is. Let's just try that very briefly in six for a second, just to see. Um, D. It is a center with range of two. We don't want that. Where was it? To our right? Yeah. Let's get our scanner back. Okay. Um, let's also take a look very briefly at the sonic gun. Let's put it in eight for a second. Whoa, it's a good, uh, good solid weapon in case our flamethrower gets knocked out. Maybe we'll keep that instead of the, uh, fuck the jetpack for now. Let's just have some backup weapons, man. Keep the buggy drive, and we'll just do that. Um, does it take energy, though? No. All right, let's rearrange some stuff. Rearrange eight to three. Okay, there we go. Our weapons are clustered. Let's go hide out in a corner while we repair everything. <clears throat> I was hoping to check out his armadillo armor and stuff, but what are you going to do? Oh, this guy's here. Four. Not him. Don't shoot at him. Shoot him. We 
took out this bazooka. And his taser. We should be able to finish it off now with no problems. Oops, we gotta get a little closer though. With air and extra dry. Oh, it's trapped. Let's just stick with the uh, flamethrower for now. Taser, we don't want that. We got that thing down, though, so we don't have to worry about it coming back to haunt us and kill us. And we are back in business. I'm very impressed with this game. It's a little unusual compared to a lot of the roguelikes we play. It's got some interesting properties, but it's fucking fun, isn't it, Cyborg? Those guys are terrifying. Let's kill it quickly with our bazookas. We hit its emergency power. It hits our cybernetic armor. Same bazooka. We hit its cybernetic armor. Our bazooka overloads. Second to bazooka. We hit its x-ray visor. Fuck, it's knocked our armor off. We gotta be a little careful here. Maybe a lot careful. We're not hitting the... Uh... Let's try... Uh... Oh, this only goes two squares. Let's try the flamethrower. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go hide for a minute. Until uh, all of our bazookas and shit are back. We'll, we'll take a second stab at that guy. Yes, I know he's repairing too, but we, we got unlucky with our hits, right? The bazooka should target the armor most frequently. We need to knock out that armor so we can knock him out. Let's, let's go take another stab at this dude. Without holding down keys. Because he's learned some things. Alright, bazooka. We hit his flamethrower. Bazooka again. We hit his jetpack. His cybernetic armor. His cybernetic armor knocking it offline. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, it's back online. All right, we knocked it back offline. My bazooka's back online. We destroyed his cybernetic armor. That's awesome. His bio core he hits our bazooka. Fuck, he took one of them out. He's no longer a threat, per se. I'm really disappointed we lost that bazooka. There's an iron wall, I think that is. We'll look at it in a minute. Alright, we took him out. Oh, well, we can get his emergency power. We'll put that in uh, slot 4. Since we lost our bazooka, let's hold here for a minute. That's disappointing, man. I liked that double bazooka combo. It's nice to see you have to adapt, though. That's the core of any good roguelike, right? Forcing you to adapt to ongoing circumstances. If it was always simple, then what would be the point? Um, let's go with uh, our scanner and find out what this is for sure. Yeah, it's a metal wall. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind finding another tank to get another bazooka back, or whatever the hell it was that had that. I don't remember what carried it. It was the X, right? The pink X has one. The, uh, it's not a hunter, it's an ambusher. Interesting, too, the Juggernauts are represented by a big capital H. I'm guessing the original intention was to call them heavies, maybe? And that just didn't feel right because a lot of the mechs are heavy, or bots, or whatever you call them. Speaking of which, Bazooka. Bazooka. Flamethrower. Back off. Flamethrower. Back off. Back off. Bazooka. Flamethrower. 
Flamethrower. He must have his thing back online because he just came at me. Yeah. Oops, he hit me. Oh, I trapped myself, didn't I? <laughs> I don't want to salvage anything. Get out of here. It's like as soon as they lose track of you, they uh, stop chasing you. It must be a simple AI of, uh, not just of the game, but of the actual Android, you know? Of the actual bot. Perhaps it's representing that. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but it looks like as soon as they lose sensor lock with you, they uh, they stop chasing you. Appears to be the case. Let's try Sonic Gun. No, it's... Alright, whatever. Let's try it. We destroyed his front plate, anyway. Although I really wanted to salvage that shit, didn't I? We could get a grinder. Do you want to find out what it does? Let's find out what it does. Instead of the emergency power. It's a hell of a lot of strength. Only at close range, but it's a beautiful high damage weapon. Let's keep that for now. We don't need the rest of it. Let's go in the corner and wait. So we got th four weapons again. But they're kind of all four different purposes. I liked it better when we had the bazooka. If I can get a bazooka, I'll put it back in place of the grinder. Or maybe of the sonic gun. Keep the grinder. Something hit us? There's a fucking cyborg. Let's bazooka him. Hitting a cybernetic armor. It's exactly what we want. Knocked it offline. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Get out of here. Let's prioritize repair the bazooka. Oh, we can't now. Now we're just both frantically repairing our own uh, bio cores. I can't, uh, without advancing, I can't, I can't deal with him anymore, so I gotta back off. He's out of my range, and if I go for him, uh, we're going to, um, be facing a lot of problems. We've destroyed his flamethrower and his cybernetic armor, so he's not gonna be a threat anyway once we get back in there. But we can go back in now and deal with, whoa, others. Oh, maybe we maybe didn't destroy the flamethrower. We just knocked it offline. Maybe I should have been hitting him with a grinder instead of the, uh... <sighs> instead of the, um... Bazooka, because then I would still have the bazooka available now. I gotta go back off again. Five. Knocked his flamethrower offline. Let's hit him again with the bazooka. His bio core knocking it offline. We can still hit him from here, so he's a flamethrower. No, we can't hit him from there. Back off, get our bazooka back. Five. All right, we destroyed his cybernetic leg. What is this? I don't know if it's a new guy or not. No, the same guy. 
let's use the grinder. Let's use a sonic gun. Flamethrower. Let's get out of here. Oh, we can get this guy from here with a flamethrower. But our armor is down and his is not. Let's back the fuck off from him. It looks like we might have lost something. Did we lose something? What did we lose? I wasn't paying close enough attention, darn it. We have th all four weapons. We lost our armor. This is not a good situation. We're gonna have to. Whoa, fuck me. Bazooka him. We're gonna have to get one back from him, hopefully. Alright, what is he? Um, what does he look like? Let's actually take a look at him. Six. Yeah, his cybernetic armor is fine. We need to get away. We need to take out his armor fast. Or get that other... If we can get past him to get the other guy, it'd be one thing. But until we do, we have some problems. I mean, I'll take the emergency power into slot 7 for the sake of it. <clears throat> Gives him something else to hit, right? This guy's a little bit tricky to deal with now. Bazooka. Bazooka. Let's take a look at him. Six. So cybernetic armor is still fine. Bazooka. Alright, we knocked his armor offline. We're on kind of equal ground now. Let's try the flamethrower. Let's prioritize one. Let's prioritize the bazooka. Let's flamethrower him. Let's turn on the emergency power. Maybe it'll briefly give us enough power to get the bazooka back. Let's use seven to repair the bazooka. For now, let's use... F oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. Oh, the bazooka's gone forever. All right, we're hitting him with a... Uh... Fuck, his thing's back online. We knocked off his armor. He's taking our crap out, man. But we got his armor off. We need to kill him fast. Oops. Grinder. His flamethrower is functional. But he's running. His emergency stuff's still off. We hit his flamethrower. Just keeping up with him using the fucking grinder. We got him. His armor did not survive. Let's take his flamethrower and put that in spot five. I mean, it gives us some more distance options in case we get in a situation like we're in now where we've lost, you know, multiple systems. Let's try and sneak down the right side, see if we can find that other cyborg that we've damaged and get his armor. So we are armorless. Walking around with all our wires exposed. But as equivalent to naked as you can get as a robot. Hopefully that's the guy. Yes, he has a flamethrower. We have a flamethrower. Neither one of us has armor. Prioritize the scanner. Let's 
So we were chasing him accidentally. Okay. Damn it, his armor did not survive. Let's look at his x-ray visor in exchange for, for a moment for the scanner. The x-ray visor only has a range of three, but it sees through more stuff like walls. I would rather have my scanner. <clears throat> uh, put it in six. Let's go up here and wait a minute. I don't want to be taking on that juggernaut without a bazooka, man. We're not going to get through his armor. This is not going to happen. Hopefully we don't have to go that way. Hopefully that's not the way to the stairs. But I will if I have to. We're completely armorless, man. Fuck, there's another one. Here's the way down. We don't need to deal with them. We can't effectively deal with them. Let's go down. There's a... What is that? A, what was it called? Uh, an armadillo. Let's get out of the heavy range of sensors. Heavy sensor range. Juggernaut, pardon me. Fuck. Like they've done some damage to me. As long as I hide here, it looks like they're not... Yeah, they, they stop chasing you if they lose sight. That's interesting. Not sure I love it, but it's interesting. I wouldn't mind trying to get that armadillo's armor, but we can't deal with the Juggernaut there. Let's see if we can find an alternative. Something else to kill. I mean, if we knew for sure our, our mission was just to go down to a certain destination, we could just start racing, but I don't know that it is. I'm assuming there's something nastier waiting down there for us. Maybe a final boss battle or something. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, a Borg. I was going to say that's great, but maybe it's not. Four, grinder. Oops. We took out his x-ray vision, so he shouldn't... his fucking things. So he shouldn't be able to see us anymore. He fires near my coordinates. He can't see us. Let's hit him with a flamethrower instead. Ah. The bio... Cyborg hits your bio core, destroying it. Your robot explodes. Game over. You managed to reach level 8 this game. Better luck next time. Well. <clears throat> I was hoping for a better outcome. You know, man, I... I have never heard of scrap until I, you know, dug through the 2005 failures of the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. I had never heard of it. I did own it. I, I downloaded it at some point. It was in my big list of roguelikes when I went to see if if it existed. I'm like, oh, I actually have it. So I, I guess I heard of it at some point, um, but not in any. I've never heard it discussed. I've never heard anybody playing it. I'm gonna check online, but I don't think I've ever seen a video of it. Um, and that's a pity because that, my friends, is a damn good fucking game. Um, I'm hoping to put this one back on people's radars. If you're if you're playing it, uh, let me know because this game deserves some playing. That was really really exciting, really interesting systems. I gotta start keeping like a written list of the games I need to go back to. This is one of them. Frozen Depths is definitely one of them. Uh, last out of the last few games, there's been some really Aliens RL is definitely one of them. Um, anyways. I guess that's it. I'm going to stop recording. Um, that's about all I have time for, uh, certainly now, if, if not today at all. Um, but yeah, that was a blast. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you check it out. Download link is in the very first video of the series. Bye.